Last one, and I promise this one's the most fun. Okay, no cardboard involved. Okay. Draw a circle for me. Okay, sorry, I, I should have told you to do the compass, but if you just draw a small one there, you'll see mine's gonna be pretty terrible in a second anyway. So, there's my circle. It's pretty good. Now, I've done better. Okay, now, here's what I'm gonna do with my circle. The circle clearly doesn't want to play this game. He doesn't want to get, don't, don't break him up into like triangles and whatever. Don't put extra boxes around. You can't, no matter which way you do it, you're going to get curvy bits, yeah? And that's why when we were doing perimeter, we're, uh, circumference, we had a special formula for the um, area of a circle, right? So he played a different game. Except, we can make the circle play a game. Here's the way I'm going to do it, okay? Now, I'm just going to show this to you. If you like look at it, at the, when, when I'm finishing, you're like, Really? Okay, just let the idea settle in your mind. Here's what I want you to try and imagine. This is a circle, it's an area, right? I want you to think of this area like a whole bunch of lines added up together. Kind of like if you had um, a whole bunch of ropes, right? Or maybe just one rope, and it was coiled around and around and around, or like a really long snake or something like that. And when you put it all the way, what you have, lo and behold, is a circle. Okay, so I want you to just imagine that I can think of the circle like that. I'm not sure. Alright, here's what I'm then going to do. I want you to imagine if I then take the circle and I cut it along here. Okay, along a radius. Okay, that's from the center to the edge, to the circumference. Okay, and what will happen is all my ropes, they'll all come apart. Yeah, they'll all just sort of fall into pieces. Okay, and I'm going to have a whole bunch of individual little lines, a whole bunch of ropes. Okay, now can you tell me... Not a trick question, but it has a weird answer. How long is the shortest rope? How long is the shortest rope? Like it's like, it's like, it's like it has no length, right? Because right there in the middle, right? There's nothing really there, okay? What about the longest rope, right? What would the length of the longest rope in this space? It would be the whole thing around. Do you agree with that? But we know how long the circumference is, right? What's the formula for circumference? Two it's, it's 2 pi r, yeah? Okay, so what I've got is my, I've got my shortest rope. I'm going to put my longest rope over here. You already told me how long it is, okay? Now, what's the relationship between the longest rope and the shortest rope and all these ropes in between? Well, they're just going to get shorter and shorter and shorter until you get to that one that we started so with, right? So, the shape I'm going to get <laughs> is going to look something like this. Do you agree? What is this? What is happening? <laughs> Work with me here, Holly. Okay, so you can see, like, the, my drawing might not be very good, but the principle is sound. That as you go from the inside, from the inside to the outside, you get progressively longer ropes. Do you agree? Until you get to the longest one, which is how long again? How long is it again? It's 2 pi r. Now, hold on. Which way did I cut this? Which way did I cut it? By the radius. I cut it along the radius, right? Yeah? Right? Yeah, sure. So this thing here is a triangle. But you know what the area of a triangle is, right? Don't you? The area of a triangle is a half times the base. What's the base of this triangle? Uh -huh. Times the height. What's the height of this triangle? Oh my gosh. Yeah? Cancel? Cancel? My whole life is a lie. Bam. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. That's so. <laughs> what if you're not given the radius? I. There are other ways to work out oh, the area. You get the diameter. But it's, it's, it's exactly. That's right. Okay. So, I promised you six formulas. I gave you six. These last two that I've done, the trapezium and the circle, uh, I'll show you right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, the last two. <laughs> Here's the formula sheet, here's page one. You scroll, 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 here's page two. And right there on the left hand side, you can see um, area of a circle, there's one. And then down here, area of a trapezium. So those are the hardest ones, like you saw as we explained them. The first four were like, oh yeah, bang, 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 simple. The last two we had to kind of play in some tricks and do cardboard and rope and all that kind of thing, okay? Which is why, being that they're qualitatively harder, they give these to you.